Hi all, welcome to Salesforce in 5 minutes. In this video, we are going to understand how to ask a question or how to prompt a question to an end user using an Einstein bot. But before getting started, if you really like my videos, I request you to please subscribe to this channel. So in the previous video, if you would have observed, we have talked about dialogues and also how to add rules to your Einstein bots. So if I go through the overall existing Einstein bot, first what's happening is it's asking, hi, I am Dar Darvis, a digital assistant. Next, it is going to, this is a test dialogue. And instead of going to a test dialogue, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go ahead and ask a question. So to ask a question, we can do it inside the same dialogue box itself. Uh, so let's do it inside the same dialogue box itself. Okay, so instead of this, I'm just going to remove it. And next, I'm just going to ask a question. So this is where you can ask a question. You can add a question over here. There are two ways you can ask a question. It can be a static question or a dynamic question so the difference between static question and the dynamic question is in the case of the dynamic question based on the response you can call a flow or apex or anything like that but in the static question it just asks a question and you can store the responses very simple i'll just show you this is a static question now this is where you can ask an actual question to the end user so for an example what are you looking for right so there are two choices one is a static and one is dynamic so if i consider static uh, static uh, choice type okay there are a button and menu you can add anything uh, button or menu whatever you want to and in, if you select static all you have to do is you have to define the type of uh, the format of the uh, input whatever whatever the customer is going to type it can be text number or anything like that and then we are just going to store whatever the response has been provided by the end user okay it's it's in the case of the static but in the case of the dynamic if you use dynamic you can ask a question and based on the response provided by the end user you can directly call a flow or apex or anything like that so dynamic is much more about uh, you can directly interact with the flows and all that kind of stuff but right now we are going to just do static and then we're going to ask two questions like for an example connect to an agent we can add one more choice saying that uh, um view case details or uh, close the case right <coughs> so we are going to give three options connect to an agent view case detail or close the case okay so these are the three options that are getting typed now whatever uh, the customer is going to type we are going to define the type of the uh, in uh, the the input that has been provided by the customer so let's say if customer type we connect to an agent it's a text right so the type of the response that customer is going to respond is text so i'm going to write system text okay next i have to store whatever response has been provided by the end user okay so what i've done is we have provided three options connect to an agent view case details close the case so let's say customer types black close the case right so the type of the text that customer is going to send back is a text okay and then i'm going to store that particular text the response that has been submitted by the end user inside a variable so let's create a variable now there are two types of the variable which you can create custom and context we already know what is the difference between custom and context i'll provide the link in the description to define what custom and context variables are so right now i'm going to just create a custom variable and i'm going to say customer response right okay so once that is done let's save it the data type is text so now whatever customer is going to type back it's going to store be stored inside the customer response okay so let's save it and let's view how things are happening let's preview it let's type back hi and now if you see it's giving me three options what are you looking for connect to an agent view case details or close the case whatever it might be now whatever i'm going to type based on that we can perform more logic so right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to perform particular logic so let's say if he types back the clay close the case what i want to do is i want to take the case number that needs to be closed okay so for that purpose what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a rule call dialog and let's say add a condition that if customer response equals close the the case 
okay if customer types back close the case what i want to do is i want to call a new dialog which is which will be responsible basically to close the case or he, then right now it's just going to take the input from the end user okay so let's go to the close the case so basically what's not going to happen the bot is going to ask the question connect to an agent view case detail close the case now what i'm going to do is if customer responds back the close the case what i'm going to do is i'm going to call a dialog that is close the case now inside the clo inside close the case i'm going to take the case number from the end user so again i'm going to create a question please provide the case number <coughs> and i am not going to provide any choice instead whatever case number end user is going to provide i'm just going to store it inside a variable named as case number and let's save it so now let's save it so basically what's going to happen is that if uh, first we are going to go to the welcome okay inside welcome we are going to go to the this is test dialog after getting a welcome message we're going to go to the this is test dialog and inside this test dialog we are just asking what are you looking for connect to an agent view case detail close the case now let's say if customer types back close the case then in that case is we're going to go to the close the case dialog that is this dialog in which we are just taking the case number from the end user and that's it but let's say if customer types back something else like connect to an agent or view case details in that cases we are just moving to the message one in which we are showing the message one and all that stuff so let's try it out preview and let's type back hi so yes things are happening uh, the bot has welcomed us and next it's asking us the question so let's i'm going to type back close the case so if you see it's taking the case number from me so automatically the rule has perfectly worked and it's automatically asking me the next question based on the response that I provided. But let's say if I provide something else, let's say hi and connect to an agent, it should not ask me the case number, right? Yes, it has not asked me to the case, case number. Instead of that, it just went to message one and then condition not satisfied and all that stuff. So this is how you can ask a question in an Einstein bot, store the response and based on that, ask another question in an Einstein bot. In the next video, what we are going to do is we are going to actually call a flow in order to make an update to a record. So if you found this video helpful, I request you to please subscribe to this channel.